Ahoy me pops, welcome back to Fast Night Advance Edition, continuing our run in the Lanius B, the Shrike. Um, things have been going kinda well, but this is Sector 3, Energy Homeworld, and things can go wrong very quickly here. Especially once people have clone bays, med bays, uh, ward and one shield bubble. Um, yeah. But for right now, I'm gonna power up our mind control and get going. Let's see, exit. Uh, okay, so I think we're gonna loop around the bottom. Yeah. And then come back around the top there. Okay, free stuff is always nice. Uh, of course, we're gonna need to ship. They have a med bay. And level 2 shields. This is exactly what we're. What we were talking about a little while ago. And they are going to board us with one Mantis. So I'm going to get our uh, rock in there and why don't we teleport into their shield room, I guess. And we'll just keep hammering their med bay. Switch it up a little bit so the NG doesn't die. And there's a Mantis and NG on board this ship right now, but we took care of their med bay. And now we're gonna go sit on it. Okay, they beam their uh, their people back on board. Their ship. We should be able to take them out. No problem. Alright, let's start uh Is that the last, last one? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, double reward. Excellent. Party on. Um, <laughs> okay. Definitely gonna hit up that distress beacon in a minute. Wow, 15 scrap and a hover beam just floating in space. Holy crap. <laughs> indeed. Indeed, game. Indeed. So, advanced flag and a hover beam is absolutely fantastic. They really synergize well. And, um, you know, especially this stage of the game, Advanced Flak will uh, strip the shields away, how Boom goes through, one shield does two damage per rooms. Really nice. Really nice find. That's why you go to, uh, that's why you go to the green sectors. If you're looking to shop, you're looking to pick up some uh, free stuff. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this because we can be boarded and have our ship exploded and we have plenty of fuel. So I'm gonna avoid that, check out the distress beacon next. Uh, carefully cut the ship out with our new beam weapon. <laughs> oh, that was the best course of action, but why not? Like how it's not even powered. We don't even have the weapon power, the system power to uh, to handle it. And uh, we were still able to use it. So I think if we give them 15 missiles, they just repair us and we're full repair. So we're going to give them the 5 missiles. Okay, we got nothing for that. Fine. Investigate the battlefield, get the get some missiles back, that's good. Check out our store, distress beacon, probably start heading towards the exit. Very quick sector here. Alright, so what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? So the defense drone. We can buy some fuel. And that's about it, I think. And we should try to get this Howard beam up ASAP. And the power to run it, so we need another four bars if we want to have everything running. We can only afford three, though. That's all of our scrap. That That's fine. But now we are good for weapons for the foreseeable future. Uh, one, two... Yeah, we're not going to be able to make that distress beacon. Unfortunately, should have done them in the reverse order. They're going to reach the exit. No problem. One, two, and three jumps will make the exit. Uh, one, two, three. So 
Screw it. If we get ripped, ripped apart, we get ripped apart. Uh, teleporter again. Take them to planet. 27 free scrap. Okay. Uh, yeah. Two fuel for a free, uh... And the Rebels are going to be here pretty soon anyways, so might as well milk another legit beacon before we have to fight them. Investigate the battlefield, nothing going on. Okay, can we get another engine upgrade? Yes, we can. We can also cloak. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get another engine upgrade. We're going to rejigger our power. Don't need anything in a teleporter. Don't need anything in... Um clone bay, hopefully. And we're going to try to uh, outrun these rebels at the exit. We have a 90% chance cloak. Um, they're going to board us. That's fine. Fight them into door room. That's a one-shot laser there, and that's a two-shotter. Yeah, so unless they fire everything at once, we are fine. Um, okay, they beamed one guy back on board. I think I heard the ASB launch, so I'm going to cloak now. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's the ASP. Screw that up. They're sending more people on board. Right into piloting, of course, because, um... Uh, right into piloting. Now we still have to... This is going exceptionally well, isn't it? We haven't taken so much damage yet, but this is getting ridiculous. Are they peeing more people aboard? I mean, it's only fair because their ship is about to be blown to pieces. Ah, oh, we're going to lose the NG pilot. There's nothing we can do. Ah, oh, the one ASB. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We're not going to be able to fix that breach before. Oh, that's really unfortunate. But they beamed their people back on board just in time. That's really unfortunate. We're going to lose that pilot. We're going to lose Zaz, our NG pilot. I don't think there's anything we can do. No, there's nothing we can do. No, there is absolutely nothing we can do. Um, let's get out of here. Next sector. That was really unfortunate. Pyro control their uncharted nebula. Um, Pyro control them were forced to go to a nebula. And yeah, we'll go power control, gives us more options later. It's really unfortunate we lost the pilot, but uh, bad RNG right there. I knew I wanted to get the clone bay up. Just that one unlucky hit right in the piloting, coupled by that unlucky hit right in the clone bay. That's what clinched it. Uh, nobody else has piloting skill, right? That guy barely... These people barely have any skill at all. This is... If you're gonna lose somebody, you wanna lose them early. Um...
So who's going to be promoted to pilot? I guess Luanti the rock man. Rock person. Uh, will be promoted to pilot. Quest beacon right there. So I think we're going to try to loop around the top and get to here. The flak and a howl ravine is very nice to have. Uh, automated Rebel Scout Station Beacon. We're going to try to outrun it. Yeah, don't want to deal with that. Sell missiles for scrap. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I guess cloaking's the way to go. Um, what do they have? I have a med bay, a couple of drones. I think we're just gonna. I mean, there's nothing scary weapon wise. I don't think. The drones could be scary, but I mean, we do have the halberd beam. Uh, we're gonna fight the ship for sure. And I really wish the sensors weren't all the way up at the end, on top of the world there. Okay, so there's a two basic lasers and a fire beam drone. Um, Try to teleport on board. Target their med bay and shields, maybe. Like slice up that way. Alright, so let's teleport on board. We'll teleport into their oxygen, I guess. Rockman and Amantis, not exactly who you want to see. Let's uh, let's mind control somebody. All right, very good. Suck the air out of the room so they don't want none of that. And now we'll uh, we'll hire Halberd Beam. And you know what? Uh, we should uh, medic medicinal explode our our Lanius boarding crew here. So if we take this ship out. Alright, so let's get our uh, Angie to fix up those. I think we want to know what we're beaming into, so let's upgrade our sensors here as well as our. We'll hold off on the other. Upgrades for right now. Upgrade to Columbia would definitely be nice. I think the the power concerns are the big one. And you know what? Uh, this energy is going to be the engineer from now on. Shuffle people around a little bit. Gonna need some fuel in a minute. Of course, we're gonna aid the civilian ship. Okay, they have cloaking level f level three shields already. Uh, med bay as well as a halberd beam of their own. Mini beams, ion stunners. Okay. Uh, boarding, they have a Mantis, a Human, Zoltan, and an NG. So nothing too crazy. Only my control... the Mantis. And try to teleport into their... Oxygen room again. 
Yeah, I'll wait for everything to be fired up. I'm gonna cloak this because it's the only thing that's dangerous on this ship. They uh they take our shields down to one level and uh, the Howard Beam can come in and do some damage. Alright, so they're gonna cloak, they're gonna heal up as well. We're gonna take our uh, they're just gonna keep cycling people in and out, aren't they? That's fine. I think the time for uh, forwarding shenanigans is going to be long past. But there's no oxygen on board this ship now. No, no uh, teleport on board ours. I think we're just going to take people out with our flak and our halberd beam right now. And uh, worry about boarding later on in the game. Why, why, why didn't the, the second shield bubble come up? That was weird. AI is doing a good job of daisy chaining people in and out to keep that get that oxygen repaired, but uh, it's not gonna defend them from a beam weapon to the head. Hey, welcome aboard Swamps. Excellent. So uh, remember, I said I wanted to have a Mantis boarding crew. We might just get our wish here, but for now, I'm gonna put him in the doors room. All right, so you know, let's do that. So you'll be our uh, weapon person, you'll be our sensor person, or door person, really, and uh, yeah, something like that. That'll work. All right, so we're not gonna be boarding on this ship anymore for a little while, at least. Uh, definitely gonna need the civilian ship. Oh, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna cloak uh, this. Oops. Cloak this. Uh, mind control of the mantis. I think we can play, uh, we can definitely play mop-up crew with our Lanius. Uh, maybe not on this particular ship. That halberd beam just slices off the ships this, at this point in the game. It really does. Wow, welcome aboard Fish. And he, Fish is a master weapon person. Fantastic. So things are really starting to work out. Losing that energy. Uh, it's never good when you lose a crew like that. But um, it's definitely helping. Okay. Check out the distress beacon now. Go down and search to investigate. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have room for one more crew, but I kind of wanted that to be a mantis. So there's no guarantee we're going to get a mantis here, so I'm just going to take him home. Get 38 scrap for the good deed. Very nice. Right into an asteroid field, ouch. Asteroid field piloted by NG Zoltan, uh, NG Zoltan fire ship. Piloted by some man, but no Zoltan on board, is what I'm getting at there. Uh, definitely gonna use some of our, uh, get next little shields going for sure. And we're gonna cloak that. Man, 
and I missed missed the cloak. That's fine. Uh, it's a pretty good offer. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Alright, definitely gonna upgrade our shields next uh, next chance we get. Uh, yeah, we're gonna attempt to download the data stores. Wow, we get some more fuel. Very good. Let's upgrade shields now. Good. Uh, go to the distress beacon first, I think. Okay, so setting up a quarantine. Uh, we'll send in the NG crew member. A couple more missiles and things. Check out our quest now. Upgrade reactor by one. Fantastic. Uh, stick that in the engines, I guess. Absolutely fantastic. We do have a little room to gallop here. We'll fight this ship here, whatever it is, and then head to our exit. And this particular ship, because there's no crew, and we have people that require no air, we can absolutely beam aboard. Start taking things out. Cloak the missile. Very good. And we'll blow up the drone control, get our Lanius out of there. Take out the rest of the ship with uh, our Halber Beam combo. This is a really lucky combo. Having an advanced flag and a Halber Beam 4 power does that much damage. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, supplement it a little bit more. Maybe a couple of, maybe another flak. Flak 1. Um. We definitely we have the makings of a flagship killer here for the first time in a long time. Let's head our exit now. We'll try not to get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, board the station and look for survivors. 19 scrap. Okay. Next sector, Slug Home Nebula. Wow, if you're going to go to a nebula, definitely go Slug. Fantastic luck there. Slug Home Nebula is pretty much like a green sector. So hit up the Slug Home Nebula. Our sensors are going to be worthless, but that's okay. Our mind is going to be worthless as well. But for right now, I thank you very much for watching. Hit the like subscribe buttons if you enjoyed and would like to see more. Uh, do comment as you see fit. Until next time, stay frosty.